Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, another art journaling for beginners. I uh, recently passed 20,000 subscribers. Thank you all so very much. And a lot, a lot, a lot of you are new to uh, art and art journaling, ATC cards, mixed media, all those wonderful things. And I get tons of requests to do beginner projects. So today I'm going to do, um, like I said, art journaling for beginners. And we're going to do a very... Um, not a basic page, but a great way to start. Uh, a lot of you are, uh, you know, between, between buying products and, you know, all that kind of stuff, it can be a little bit expensive. So we're going to play a little bit and use some stuff around the house. So what I'm using first is this is a Faber-Castell, um, what's it called? Catalog. And I've been doing, you know, that's an art journaling for beginners I did, uh, did that. And I've been doing, you know, some art in here, um, using it as my junk journal. I have many videos on my channel doing junk journaling. You guys ask me um, all the time to do more, you know, making your own art journal and that kind of thing. So I'm going to be doing that as well as ATCs and whatnot. But today we're going to start with this. Um, what we are going to do, as you can see, I just took some gesso and I threw it down on the page. Now, um, you can see I didn't do it very thick or anything like that. I don't care that some of that's coming through, but that is up to you and how you like, you know, if you want your page more, um, you know, covered up and you don't want stuff coming through, that's totally up to you. Make it thicker. I'm only doing one side and here we go. So whatever paint you have at home, acrylic paint, watercolor, whatever you want, understand watercolor is not permanent and it will be very uh, transparent so you'll be able to see through it, but that's a look on its own. Um, and I'm going to do an art journal page using uh, watercolor as well uh, coming up, you know, soon. So all I did was I looked around my desk in my house and I thought, uh, well, what kind of things do I have circle or square or whatever you want? And I have this container which is obviously circle and you want them in different sizes. I have my glue cap. I have a plastic, uh, perfect pearls lid. I have, um, this, uh, of a marker and I have a glue stick and you can even use a Q-tip. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, like I said, I just sewed this, let it dry. If you don't have gesso, I always tell you guys, throw white paint down. If you have white paint, throw it down. I like to buy white paint in big bottles because I use a lot of white paint, um, especially if I don't have gesso. Now, I love, love, love the folk art gesso. Um, and you can even add, if you want it to be black, add a little bit of acrylic paint to it, make it black or whatever color that you want. I'm strictly going with this. And what I'm going to do first is decide what color I want to start with. I have black, I have orange and blue and pink and purple, use whatever you have. And I think I'm gonna start with the bigger. I'm gonna go big to small. And again, use whatever you have. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever, whatever you have around. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go dark to light, which I usually don't do. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kinda, now you might wanna take a piece of paper use a lot of printer paper, scrapbook paper, whatever, and you could put your paint on that. So as you pick up, you're, you're putting paint down on another paper to make a background, whether you can use it for ATC cards, mixed media, whatever you want. So all I'm going to do is tap it and I'm tapping it. That sounds very weird, but I'm going to do like part there and you can really go thick. It, it depends. I'm just starting I'm turning it and you don't have to just stick with one color. You can do whatever color you want. And that's how I'm starting. So my next one, let's do this. Let's do, I'm going to say black for last. Let's stick orange and orange. And I'm just putting it around. And you see, you're getting great circles and you don't have to stick with circles. You can do whatever whatever you want. And the best part is you don't have to uh, really sit and plan anything out. And if you're doing this with kids, you know, cause I'm always like, get the kids involved, whatever way you want, whatever way you can, this is a great thing. You give them a piece of printer paper. Um, if you don't want to do it in art journal and you just let them pick four or five colors and let them go to town on shapes or, you know, whatever you want. And it's just, I don't know. It's just fun for all. So I'm going to do that. 
and let's do let's do this and we'll do some blue and if you're using a lid to anything you know um that like i'm using my perfect pearls make sure you wipe it off before you put it on so back on so it doesn't glue itself shut you never know and i'm not worrying if i'm getting a full circle or not i'm just dabbing and having a ball there's just really no rhyme or reason let's see and let's do let's do a q-tip why not it's more solid let's do the q-tip in pink and i'm just dipping it and let's add i'm not going to do a lot of dots but you of course do whatever you want You see, just very, very random. And what other color? We have some black. Now, I'm gonna do some black, but what am I gonna use? Let's see, maybe I'll use, you can even use the back of your um, paintbrush, you know what I mean? But this has like a thing, like where it's kind of got a little divot kind of thing. Now that black's a little thicker than the rest of my stuff, but I don't care. I'm just putting it in. Okay. All right. I think you get the gist of it. Now I'm going to dry this real quick and, oh, you know what? We can even use a glue stick. Let's do a lot more purple, I think. And you can see I'm not worrying if it's not completely circle, right? Okay, and you get the drift. Go to your dollar store and look around. Go into your uh, bathroom. Maybe you have body sprays or deodorant, you know, covers or uh, lids or whatever. Um, the lid to your cooking spray, uh, anything. Anything that makes a shape. You don't necessarily have to do circles, but I'm sitting here and I have a lot of lids around me, so. And if you don't have a hair, a, a, a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, go to your thrift store. Mine sell them for like two bucks. And um, they work just as good. The heat gun you need just for embossing, which is fantastic on its own to emboss and have fun but uh if you don't don't worry about it or just leave it sit for five minutes and in five minutes uh, most acrylic paint dries very fast and you're not putting a lot down at this moment so i always say go go on my channel or somebody that you love's channel and find a video for five ten minutes sit and watch it and then your stuff will be dry go make a cup of tea hot chocolate ice water whatever you like all right and you can see it starts drawing as it mats down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe this off real quick because I will forget. And I have my perfect pearl sitting over there. And you know, if you've been with me for any length of time, I spill everything. I am the worst. Okay. I'm just going to... You just want to get that acrylic paint out of there. Uh, if you're using it as a lid because it'll seal and you don't want that all right so that's safe again all right so now maybe you want to doodle a little bit maybe you want to do um you know take your q-tip maybe let's see and let's go into a color and just add i mean you see we're just going to add those kind of um marks you can use your paintbrush you can use whatever you want you can um do lines let's pick kind of looking like an easter egg decoration but i think you know what i'm saying um if you maybe you like to doodle maybe you like to zen doodle you can do that inside of these as well 
and you just sit with the, you know, with whatever you have, you can use, excuse my arm, you know, if you have a piece of cardboard, I'm telling you, think outside the box and you can just go to town and add in different shapes and what you're going to end up doing now. Hey, if you don't want to do it inside the circles, do it on the outside, just so it fills up the paper more. Look how cool that looks. And I'm mixing colors. I don't really. This is my art journal. It's it's fun. It's something to play and do. And you can do this again on an ATC card um, and, and just have fun. And you see, I'm just kind of going in and adding it around. And you're going to see before you know it, you have you know, all this filled in. Now, something that I like to do that not everybody likes to do, and I'm going to take a piece of paper real quick and I'm going to show you. When I have extra like this, I'm going to leave the black because I'm going to wash this down, but I like to take any kind of, um, put my lid on that, any kind of paint I have left, any kind, watercolor, gouache, acrylic, and I will push it and you can do that and just lift up whatever you have left. You could take your paintbrush and do it. And it just lifts it up and you're getting background, right? And so that just doesn't go to waste. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my water. I'm going to water down. I'm going to squirt my black. And, you know, you can squirt your page as well. I'm going to take my paintbrush. And you can see it's watered down almost like ink. I move my brush back and forth and then I'm going in. And this is going to mute it down. People get really nervous about this. Now, if it's a little wet underneath, it's going to smear a little bit, but that's all right. I'm not worrying about it. And you're like, what on earth are you going to do with that? Well, let me show you take a paper towel or art rag, whatever you got. I do this all the time because I love it. I'm going to wipe the majority of it off. And then I'm going to take a little more water, squirt it on the page now. Leave it sit for a minute. And you can do at this point if you want texture. If you just want to take your paper towel or your, you know, whatever, and you can see how you get that great texture there if you want it. You could do that in some places and in other places wipe. You can do this all the way around. And essentially what this is doing is making a background um, if you want it for mixed media or ATC card or whatever. I just kind of like this as a, as a, uh, page because <laughs> that's just how I is. I just love it. And you can go back and, and take up more, uh, spray a little bit more water if you want. But the minute you dry this with your heat gun or a hair dryer, it's going to be uh, permanent because the acrylic paint will dry and then you're not going to be able to lift it anymore. So let's say, let's say uh, right here, I want a little more. So I'm just going to spray that and I'm going to I'm going to go in and tap a little harder and you see how light you can get it. So you definitely can do that in different places and you can see even some of the magazine uh, background is coming up, which is a fantastic thing on its own. And I'm just going to make it a little lighter here. Oh, I love this. This makes me happy. And then we'll do right there. And I'm not going to spray anymore. I'm just going to kind of push hard right there just to lift some of that up. So then, look at that. Look at this page. Oh, how awesome. And that is a very, very basic but beautiful art journal page. Now, let's do something to do with the rest of this stuff. So let's pick, let's pick this page. And I'm going to take my brush again and I'm going to get a lot of that black out of there for now and just rinse it. I'm going to dry it off just for a second and I'm going into the color. You see what I'm doing? And I'm going to just lay it down. Just 
gonna lay that color. And all I'm doing is preparing for another background. And I can go into that black and just kind of swipe it through or do a different page, it depends. And you see how you get all that delicious color up. And then real quick, I'll just dry it. You know what, you wanna make sure it's dry before you shut the, uh, your art journal, whether you're doing a magazine or whatever, because it'll stick. And it just takes a second. You'll see it go matte. Just delicious. Okay. That's all I'll worry about right now. I'm going to wipe this up. Again, you could take another piece of paper and get all this up. I'm just going to do this so I can move up a minute. La, 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 la. Okay. And there you go. That is your art journal page. Look how simple. Look how delicious. Look. Look how beautiful. In 15 minutes. So try it. Let me know if you do. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy uh, these beginner videos. I love doing them because they're so simple, but you really get a really great page. And like I said, you can doodle, you can do whatever you want. You know what I would even do? I'd, I'd throw some white paint on here as, uh, or drip. Oh, I would drip. I would do all kinds of stuff. Maybe I'll drip in the next uh, video, which is a lot of fun as well. It just adds a little something, something. And yeah, so that's it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.